Hi Scorpio, it's Tuesday. I'm going to do a quick read for you guys. I've gone ahead and laid out the cards to help save time until I get my new camera. This is just easier. It takes too long to upload um, long videos, doing everything from my phone. There's just too much downtime. So I've laid everything out. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is general. Cannot, will not resonate for everyone. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. We have in the, uh, we're gonna do your energy at the top, your person's energy at the bottom. Could, roles could be reversed, so take it how it resonates. Um, in the center, we have combined current energy. On the left, we have the recent past or the reason for the read. And in the, on the right, we have the future or upcoming and advice, okay? So um, let's get started. At the bottom of the deck, we have two of swords. So the um, overall energy of the read will clarify that. Um, these are already shuffled, but we'll give them just a couple rounds. Let's actually see how um, much energy is in these, see how much flies out. If you Thank you for visiting my channel. Um, it's a brand new channel, so I appreciate you being here. If you would, please hit like, share, subscribe, and join me on my new YouTube adventure. I'm brand new to YouTube. Whoops, wow, they are flying. Okay, so clarifying the world, we have the Seven of Swords. Mind cheating, you know what? <clears throat> Just kidding. And then we have the Magician, which is confidence. So interesting, how does that make sense? Okay, why don't, so the World card is about the universe having everything lined up, right? Perfect alignment. Your energy is good. Um, so, but clarifying this seven of swords, we've got, looks like somebody was deceitful about, you know, offering their cup. Um, and then we also have the four of pentacles, which is all about you know, hanging on, fear of lack. What is this magician, though? Magician. Ten of Cups. So you're manifesting, in your energy, you're manifesting, you know, this Ten of Cups, this Ten of Pentacles, and you've got success. So we might have to come back to that. It looks like if anything not good is going on here, you're rising above it, okay? Because you're feeling confident. Um, clarifying this, the um, last two cards here, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. So you're waiting for your, your reward. You're waiting for that to come in. In your person's energy, we have the Two of Wands, which is about a major crossroad. Okay, Major, major life-changing decision. Not only affects you, affects others, or affects the future, everything. So that's, you know, a um, fork in the road or, you know, choosing the right path. Clarifying that, we have Justice, Libra and Energy. Hmm. This is your person's energy. So you could be dealing with the Libra. Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles. What is the Seven of Pentacles, please? Seven of Pentacles, again, is about, you know, hard work paying off. The Sun. I'm not sure if that was in reverse. I think it was, wasn't it? I'm going to put it back. Let's see if it comes back out. So... Um, the seven of pentacles is, you know, do I pick the peach before it's ripe? Do I, do I patiently waiting, patiently waiting? Okay. And then we have, let's clear, try and clarify this two of pentacles, please. Two of pentacles. The temperance card's trying to come out when I, especially when I said patiently waiting. So two of pentacles is, you know, balancing, juggling. Wow. We got all kinds of stuff flying out. We're going to put these back. And we're going to take the one that fell by itself. So we've got a um, emperor, which could be an Aries energy. Also, that's my husband card, right? Let's see what else we get. Come on. What is the seven of pentacles, please? If that sun card, you know, we have to remember we got the sun card. And that could be... A, um, I was hoping it would come back out. That would could be a, um, a Leo. 
or it could be, you know, happiness. I just don't know if it was up in the upright or not. We got the lever. So this would go along with, you know, making a decision. Move forward or wait till you're ready. Wait till it's ready, you know. So I think that's what's going on here. We're trying to decide. Your person's trying to decide if on timing. Um, possibly not ready. Let's get one more on the Seven of Pentacles, please. Seven of Pentacles. Whoa. We got the Six of Cups. So, in, you know, this, in this, you know what? The Sun card was children. And here's another children card. So children involved. And then the Six of Cups is about reminiscing. Happy memories, also about children. So there could be some um, decision here about, there could be children involved and there could be, you know, want, you know, am I ready to do this? Am I wanting to be a father? Maybe take on more kids? Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling. Let's go on to the recent past. We had a tower. What was this tower about? Tower. Oh, I don't know what it was about, but it looks like it caused an end to some player energy. We've got the Knight of Swords and the Death card. Well, it caused an end to something. Maybe to the player himself. Could that be you, Scorpio? <laughs> Are you dealing with the player? Let's see. What happened? What is this set, uh, Knight of Swords, please? Knight of Swords. And the Death card. What happened here? We're going to do two more and then we're going to draw. There we go. Competition, bickering, fighting. I hope you guys can see that. Okay, um, looks like, you know, it's so, uh, unstable, something fell. A, a tower moment means everything comes crashing down because it wasn't stable. Looks like it has to do a lot with uh, competition and a player, right? Because we have them together. So somebody maybe was playing the field. Oh, here's another one over. And moving away from that. Mm, Scorpio, it, this is your card. So it looks like, Scorpio, you're moving away from that. You've got such beautiful energy up here. Your person looks like they're just not sure. Hmm. About being a husband, but you're moving away from it. Um, somebody got real quiet, though. Looks like somebody's ghosting or going within, not communicating. What is this hermit card? We also have the high priestess, which is Pisces energy. Hermit card could be a Virgo. We've got the nine of cups. What is the nine of cups, please? Oh, I don't know if we should take all three. Let's see. Temperance. So balancing. Oh, we have the hermit. Yeah, the hermit, oh, that's right, I'm sorry. And we have the Queen of Wands and the Hangman. So whenever this tower fell, it put somebody into a not good, you know, kind of a, they withdrew. I also feel like the Hangman could be somebody that got caught. Maybe your person got caught. But you're moving, you moved away from them, you know? Again, Tower and Five of Cups. What caused this tower, please? Did y'all see that? 11-11, twin flame. Hmm, that doesn't help, does it? Maybe one person wanted it and one person didn't or wasn't going along with it. And maybe they were pretending to go along with it. Can I get a card on this uh, four, four of wands, please? Four of wands. Page of Pentacles. Somebody wanted stability and wasn't getting it. Somebody, one of you wanted the, you know, marriage. Your person or you wanted a full commitment and the other person was still playing. Let's look at the combined energy. Ace of Cups, a new love beginning, three of swords. Didn't work out. Temperance with Sagittarius energy. Two of Cups, clarifying the Ace of Cups. 
What is this Ace of Cups and Two of Cups, please? Again, the High Priestess. Maybe there's a Pisces or Cancer involved. But somebody, somebody's intuition is telling them somebody's following their intuition. What is the High Priestess, please? Feeling burdened, but keep still going. What is this Three of Swords? Three of Swords. Um, player energy caused a, you know, maybe a third party, either that or just the um, the ending. We have Eight of Wands, and we have Focused Attention. What is this Eight of Pentacles, please? Looks like this somebody was moving way too fast, and somebody got cut out. This is Leo energy. Also, a lot of air energy here. We have Sagittarius, we have Gemini, we have Aries, we have Leo, we have Aries again. Wow, we have a lot of Leo and a lot of Aries. Mm, we have Scorpio, obviously. Virgo. Capricorn. What was I clarifying? <laughs> The Temperance card, Knight of Cups. Looks like somebody got cut out. Enough. This Knight of Cups, this person bringing in love, maybe a little too freely, maybe a little too generous with this cup of love, got cut out. All right, let's move on to, let me just, let me just chew on all this real quick, make sure I'm not missing anything. You are manifesting, you want marriage and the full, you know, success. You want the, um, the happy ever after, okay? And you're confident that you're gonna have that. I kinda think the rules might be reversed. If you're cross-watching, then, you know, do what you need to with the rules. The person's just not sure. I mean, they have memories of it. They, you could be dealing with the Libra. Or somebody's got Libra in their chart. But they're not sure they're ready. They're not sure they're ready. So in the recent past, it looks like they weren't committing. And you maybe found out about it. Or just the lack of commitment caused, you know, someone to leave the, the situation. But there was a tower moment, so something happened. And a death. It ended. Yeah, it ended. So let's go to... Um, what is this Two of Swords, please? Clarifying the Two of Swords. There we go. Leo in reverse. So there's that card again. I knew it would come back. So, or I hoped it would. Sun in reverse. So it could be because of um, somebody having children and somebody else not wanting to take that on. Or somebody wanting children and the other not wanting to have them. So the, the Two of Swords is because somebody walked away from this situation. Okay, that's what this overall energy is. Um, what is this Queen of Wands in the outcome, please? Queen of Wands. Feeling trapped and tied. Maybe it's trapped and tied to a, um, a fire sign, an Aries. It's an Aries. We've got Aries and Leo in the outcome. What is this? So that's either your outcome is or your advice is you know, you're, the Queen of Wands is either talking about an Aries energy, so a, a somebody encompassing the energy of a Queen of Wands who is all about action, all right? And you, Scorpio, are very much about action, right? You're driven, you're passionate. Hmm. What is this Ace of Pentacles, please? But, you know, it's either depicting a person with, under that sign or somebody having that energy, which I would think is you. What is this? Let's get more on this Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, please. Oh, something flipped. I think it was the Queen of Pentacles that tried to flip. It was either that or the world. What is this Ace of Pentacles, please? The Hermit in Reverse. 
and the nine of pentacles so a fresh start not being hung up and stuck anymore coming out you know um coming out of this being tied and bound energy enough 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 wanting a stable something stable a new stable beginning coming out of it um, and being okay on your own that's what you're manifesting because you know that you deserve the sun got the sun twice once in reverse so i would say one time you know it could in indicate leo both times but um i feel like everything's illuminated now you're you know you're getting you're you've got everything lining up and you're you're happy the sun is happy you're ready to move away from this and just be okay you've got the independence card a brand new beginning is that your advice for Leo? What's, what do we get with this Three of Swords? Three of Swords, please. Clar clarifying the Three of Swords. I'm going to have to grab another deck if we can't get these to... If we go too much longer. But I think we have our message. I think our message is you're okay. You're okay. And you're letting, you know, I, it's like I'm kind of getting the same reads for everybody, but it looks like you're okay. You're ready to, to um, you've accepted this and you're ready to move on. And you know your value and you know your worth. I love it. All right, clarifying. You're going to have success after heartbreak. A new start. And that is Aries energy. Maybe an Aries is coming in. Let's see. Let's get more. Okay, three more, and then I draw from the top. Queen of Pentacles. This is often often is a single mom. You might be a single mom, but you're also very stable, and you're able to do this on your own. All right. All right, Scorpio. Looks good. Thank you for a nice read. I really, really was hoping for one. Okay, um, leave me any comments and let me know how it resonated, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, Scorpio.